Morning. Morning. Coffee's ready. Thanks. Is Joe almost ready? Actually, she got up early. She left you a note right over there. Wow. I don't know where she gets the energy. All right, babe. I love you. Love you. I don't get how the hell Milena's gonna get away with throwing a rager in the day. It's not a rager. And besides, she'll probably have to bring it inside, so keep expectations low. It's supposed to be a sophisticated event, or whatever the hell that means. Her parents have a legit liquor cabinet. She can't keep it guarded all night. I'll need to ride home, so Maddie has to maintain. <laughs> Maddie, maintain? That's funny. She's gonna wanna have some fun. Speaking of fun, hey Jojo, you ready for tonight? Uh, sorry, change of plans. I can't make it. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Come on, party with the big dogs. Seriously, Raiden, you need some help. <laughs> I know, but I can't. Come on, slide through. Like, tonight's special. Mm, well, I'll have to take your word for it. Mandy, Sasha, you guys in? I'm busy tonight, sorry. Yeah, me too. Y'all are killing my spirits. Anyways, who's driving? Time? Place? As far as I know, Maddie's supposed to drive. Oh, well, you're still coming with me after school, right? Yeah, I'll be there. Okay. Hey, school's out. Let's go, guys. Come on, I want to go home. Go. That's what I was, because I have like flowers like, on my Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking but about then I was like, uh, I can't buy a new date. Yeah. No, maybe not. I was oh, Jesse, you just got asked. So. I know! <laughs> That's so, so now you have to like coordinate what you guys are going to wear. Yeah. You have, you oh, have to go. Yeah. I That's forgot something. about that part. I forgot about that part. What color could he wear? Like, what color goes with your dress? Uh, I don't know. It's like rose gold. It's like kind of Ooh. pinkish. Like, Pinky. Sabrina, have you been asked? Pinky. I well, like I kind of like me and my friend are, like going together. Pinky. I'm going. I think we're going to Sierra Nevada. You can do Sierra Nevada oh. or like. Oh, doesn't Brayden's dad? dad right there. Oh, perfect. That's then he perfect. Can probably excuse him, like yeah. anywhere. Yeah. I don't. Okay. Those I don't want to go to like Broadway so. High. Downtown yeah. is good because it's near Chico High. Talking yeah. about food. Hello. You guys should go get popcorn. Yeah, yeah I'm totally. Mm -hmm. down. I Bring us back some, please. Okay. I will. I'll be back. Thanks. You're seriously ditching out tonight? I'm really burnt out from the last party. Is Mandy going? No, nah, she's hanging out with us for a And you didn't invite me? Well, you've been looking for an excuse to party, so I wasn't gonna get in the way. <sighs> You'll be missed. Did you figure out prom? No, not yet. So you're not going? Mm, never said that, it just depends. Depends on. Whether Lane asks me or not. Yeah. He'll be at Melena's, I can ask him for you. Mm, no, it's okay, he probably already has an idea anyways. Whatever it is, you better do it quick. I don't know, tell me about it. Okay. Promise you you'll keep Maddie in check, though. Come on, Joe. Well, she's gotten, like, a lot worse lately. She just needs to blow off some steam like the rest of us. I know, we all really do, but that's just me trying to look out for you guys. And that's why we love you. You are your father's daughter. Ugh, I'm really over high school parties. I really need to graduate. 
and go where? You got some plans I don't know about? Uh, girl, check this out. Oh my god! Shh, be quiet. That's only 15 minutes from campus. I know. I knew you couldn't stay away from me. I know. <laughs> Okay, see you guys. Bye. All right, text me if anything goes down. I will, don't All worry. Right. Be safe. Bye, Joe, I will. Maintaining. You sure you're going to drive? We just got here. My parents find out you're driving me drunk and my chances of going to prom are out the window. <laughs> what ifs? Well, have some fun and then slow down. Everybody cool? What happened to the real liquor? That's the hostess. The parents like the booze cabinet, so Dakota and Logan just brought this mirror off. <laughs> Mistakes. I need some backup for once. Why am I the bad guy here? If you're so worried, you can just call your parents. Yeah, and tell them that we're drinking? You do understand how out of sight and out of mind works, right? <sighs> It'll be fine. Look, we're all here. We'll make sure she's good to drive before we leave. It'll be fine. You do something stupid and I'm driving. Okay. Have you told her yet? Yeah, I had to tell her at some point. Good decisions? Always do. It doesn't make you a loser. <laughs> right. That was a bit awkward. It was sweet and a little bit Disney though. <sighs> How do I look? Growing up too fast. That's awkward. <laughs> I'll be safe, I promise. I 
Dutch Bros. Dutch. Yeah. Alright, sounds good to me. Squirrel looks funny. <laughs> what squirrel? You know what? You can drop me off on Esplanade. I'll walk from here. Why are you being like this? Did Jojo Potato put you up to this? Just please slow down. Don't tell me how to drive. I'll drop you off, but we're done partying together. Bro, chill, Maddie. Just let her out. Oh, you too? What a surprise. Guys, I have a bad feeling about Sabrina. Why is that? I just, I don't think Maddie's being safe right now. Isn't she supposed to maintain? Yeah, but it's Maddie and she's definitely not doing that, so. Ugh. Yeah! Ugh, looks like everyone's partying tonight anyway. I know, I think that's a good sign to probably turn around and pick up Sabrina on Esplanade. Okay, we'll go get her. her. Yeah. Maddie, slow the hell down. <coughs> Maddie, just please slow down. What the hell, Maddie? The faster we get there, the faster you guys can both get out. I'm tired of driving you crybabies around. <laughs> oh my god, Maddie, seriously, you're gonna kill somebody. Oh, what a surprise. I got you there in one piece. Nice car. Nine one one. What's the address of your emergency? Um, I think we're on Esplanade next to Chico High. I think East First Avenue. East First Avenue and Esplanade. What's going on there? The car just hit us. You were hit by a car. Are you in a vehicle or are you on foot? I'm in my white car. You're in a white car? Okay. Are you injured? Uh, I, I'm fine, but my friend's not moving. Your friend's in the same vehicle. She's not moving? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Can you tell if they're breathing? I, I can't tell. You can't tell? Okay. I have fire and police and medical on the way to help you. Can you get out of the vehicle safely? Yeah, but my friend can't get out. Okay, I just don't want the vehicle to get hit again, so if you can get out safely, we have help on the way to your friend, okay? Okay, please be fast. Okay, they're on their way with lights and sirens. Okay. Okay, be there in a few. Okay. Okay, bye-bye.
female. She was the restrained passenger, rear driver's side, uh, T-bone. Uh, no sedation? No sedation. Okay. Um, Is trauma aware? Trauma's on the way. Okay. Okay, let's do it fast and we'll move forward from there. Cold. 70 over 40. Ever since I have known Sabrina, she has been one of the most kind and genuine people I have ever known. And the fact that you took her future from her is something that I can't even process. She has had so much ahead of her and now because of a stupid decision you made, her friends and family will not ever be able to see her again. She had so much talent and brought so much joy to my life and now she is gone. Both of them are gone. Their laughs, smile, and the comfort that they brought to the people around them is forever gone and I never thought you would made a decision like this. It breaks my heart that my best friend has now taken two people's lives by doing something so reckless. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I understand that probation is recommending the middle term in this case. I would urge the court to impose the upper term. Uh, she is extremely young. She has a life in front of her. She has no felony convictions. I'm asking the court to implode and um, uh, give her an opportunity on probation based on her lack of any criminal record. I have no excuses for what I've done and I had no reason for being behind the wheel that night. I'll live with this for the rest of my life and nothing can change that. For the crime of violating Penal Code 191.5, subsection A, as charged in count one, I designate that the principal term and sentence her to state prison for 10 years. For the violation of Penal Code 191.5a, as charged in Count 2, she's sentenced to state prison for a subordinate and consecutive term of two years, which is one-third the midterm. I've imposed a consecutive sentence due to the separate nature of the offense. Therefore, she's sentenced to state prison for 12 years. Deputy, she's remanded into custody for delivery to the California Department of Corrections. Thank you. Place your hands behind your back. Interlock your fingers. Through the store. Once we go through, you'll turn left. 